What's going on YouTube? I'm Slick, that's Slick Jackson, and if you're looking for the coolest, grooviest content on the side, well, you've come to the right place. I won't lie, I forgot that PewDiePie really even existed for the past few years. He used to be like the undisputed king of YouTube, and now he's just kind of another drop in the puddle. Not that it really matters though, I mean the guy's making banks, so whether or not he's relevant is, well, irrelevant. I will say though, there's something to be said about this new line of content he seems to be doing. I don't know, it seems like he's settled into making generic content that pretty much every other YouTuber's doing. I skimmed through it and frankly I'm not too entertained by it. That's not to disrespect the guy and by extension anyone who actually likes his content because you can easily say the same thing about me. And to be quite honest with you, I respect the ground he's on. He's doing his own thing, staying out of trouble and that's that. Well, you'd think it would be that simple but not so much as it so were, he uploaded a video reacting to TikToks and one clip stood out to some people. It's no longer part of the video, but it has been saved by TikTok. I was at a drive through and they have like the people where they stand outside and they take your order before you go up to like the window. So I pull up and I roll my window down and this lady when I- No, I'm not listening to this. Look, she has your crazy nails, man. So anyway, what I did was, I went outside and then I peed and then I pooped a little bit as well and it was crazy. Sorry, am I nails distracting you guys? So a deaf woman sign-in is considered TikTok cringe, and I know incels are gonna come to his defense like, oh, he didn't know. He has over 100 million followers. He should have learned by now to do some research before spewing BS. Now, again, PewDiePie removed this segment from his video, but as the backlash mounted, he put this comment up to clarify some things. Hey, just to clear a few things up, I edited out the clip with the girl that has the long nails, had no clue she was deaf, but kind of dumb of me to not realize. Still watching through the clip I only poked fun of her long nails the voice I did for my dog is the same voice I've given her for years edit and making my dog's pause moves was poking fun at people always dancing or doing some move on TikTok, which is an ongoing theme in the whole video anyway honest mistake my bad Peace. So in my opinion, these explanations seem plausible. A lot of people criticized PewDiePie though and said he should have realized the sign language. PewDiePie is 32 years old. There is no way in hell he does not know what sign language is. I know y'all don't think he's that stupid, but it's like, I don't know, first off, most people don't know what sign language is when they see it, even these so-called progressives who want a virtue signal. How much you wanna bet the same people getting angry at this knew anything about sign language before this whole thing started? Yeah. Exactly. And to add to the confusion, apparently sign language ain't even universal. There's different sign languages for different countries, so it's entirely plausible for someone not to know when someone's trying to communicate or when they're just moving their hands around. Especially in this day and age, you got people doing all sorts of things with their fingers, hands, and arms and them TikToks. I don't know, it's something the kiddos do. All I'm saying is, PewDiePie's explanation makes sense. And I skimmed through the video and he does consistently use a weird voice for the dog and makes it do a bunch of weird movements. So he's obviously not doing it to like mock any disability, right? But of course, that don't stop the blue check marks from posting their dumb takes. Now this is sarcasm for those who don't know. PewDiePie ain't ableist, he just wanted to mock a black woman, millions of viewers for having long fingernails and speaking in her natural dialect. It's only racism. I don't even know how you put racism in there. Like at no point in the clip was PewDiePie being a racist. Like I don't know, hot take I guess, but just because a white man makes fun of what a black woman is doing, don't mean there's any racism going on. Now as far as the nails go, that's the main thing that PewDiePie was making fun of. I totally agree. I don't get women's obsession with fake long nails. They got their weird designs on them and it's like, why? Like, you know, I feel like they're just inconvenient to just have when you actually want to use your hands, right? I don't know. I've never looked at someone's fingernails and said, damn, those are some good looking nails. Like, for God's sake, they're fingernails. They're perfect just the way they are. Like, you don't see me painting my fingernails out here. My fingernails look just fun. Oh, well, scratch that actually. I should probably clean these sometime. At some point, I don't know when, the girl apparently responded to this. I won't play the full clip, just what matters. Okay, everybody has been blowing my phone up about this, so let's talk about it. So apparently there's a big YouTuber named Mike Beauty, whatever, I don't know his name, but he made like a reaction video to one of my TikToks, making fun of like my nails, making fun of my signs with his dog, and then like I guess at one point mocking my voice. So how do I feel? I feel like it was very weird and very unnecessary, but at the same time, I wasn't surprised I'm used to it. It's been a big issue in the deaf community. I've been trying to like normalize and put it out that using nails while signing 
is normal like it's okay but then a big creator comes on here and puts us like a million steps back so it's very frustrating so to be fair to the girl she seems unfamiliar with the situation doesn't even seem to know who pewdiepie is obviously just going off of what other people are telling her it seems to me that this person and you know pewdiepie they're just not on the same page right i don't think there's much to this whole thing and you know i'm pretty disappointed like i was expecting some more stuff to react to considering how mad people got but i guess people are just getting angry angry over nothing as they typically do here on the internet. I think it's dumb that PewDiePie felt the need to apologize, but I can see why he did it. Being such a large content creator, YouTube might take notice and do something to the guy's channel, so I don't blame him for getting out ahead of it. God, can we go back to the time when being edgy was the norm? I mean, sure, the bleach jokes would get old, but at least you wouldn't have to apologize every time you freaking breathed. Now, before we close off, another story with Jake Lucky. I absolutely hate talking about this guy. He sucks. Like I said, the sooner he's off the net, the better. But what do you know? He botched yet another story. There's this streamer, Greek God, X or whatever, being in the news a lot lately, acting weird and whatnot. I, I don't know. He got banned from Twitch because of this clip. Well, all right, he's acting weird, I guess. Maybe he's kind of being a racist, playing a stereotype for some reason. Now, personally, I wouldn't blame you for interpreting this clip as, you know, kind of racist, you know. But Jake took it a step farther. Greek God has been banned on Twitch shortly following this clip of him mocking an Asian family. Now, I'm not sure if he's talking about these guys here. I don't know. Maybe they are Asian, but no, I can't really tell. This just seems like a huge leap of judgment on Jake's part, and he obviously knew that because he deleted the tweet and put a new one up again this guy prides himself on being a journalist quote unquote yet he tries to push unverified information and pass it off as fact yeah some reporter you are yeah what a loser for all the moral grandstanding this guy does about oh content creators need to be careful about what they post he sure has no problem publishing unverified information what a hack but again not too much to it jake sucks it ain't, it ain't really news, you know? Yeah, that's, uh, that's all I've got for the day. I thought I'd have more, but I don't know. Slow news day, I guess, but you know how it is. That's all I've got for this shtick, though, so you guys do all jack your favor and keep it groovy. Thank you. Thank you very much.